Welcome to my guide on Herbie Werby. Herbie Werby is a weekly D&D that you can complete for herb lore and fire making XP, as well as to unlock various rewards. Herbie Werby occurs in the ancient Zygomite cave on Anachronia and has no requirements beyond having access to the island. To get to the D&D, you can use the Anachronia lodestone and then run to the entrance. If you have level 70 agility, you can follow the agility route highlighted in red here. If you don't, you can walk the slightly slower route, highlighted in blue. Once you arrive, you climb down this big tree to enter. Note that whilst the game won't let you enter with weapons equipped, you can bring them in with you and then equip them inside so you can still use bladed dive. Also, the event is instanced, so you'll never see other players inside. Let's touch quickly on the recommendations. Whilst it's in no way required, having the abilities Surge and Bladed Dive are a nice quality of life. In terms of items to bring, you don't need any, but I'd recommend the following if you have them. Dual wielded melee weapons, if you have the bladed dive unlocked. Any pieces of the botanist set for extra herbal or XP. The rings and glove of fire you get from the all fired up mini quest, if you intend to use the event for fire making XP. Literally anything else that gives you bonus XP. Note that the XP rates you get scale to your level, so low level accounts will get less XP. I'll show a breakdown of this at the end of the guide. The mechanics of the game are quite simple. The Zygomites are supposed to be burning the purple corrupted herbs like this one in the bonfire at the middle of the cave, but they're really bad at their jobs and sometimes they're picking the healthy green herbs and burning them instead. You can do one of two things depending whether you want herb lore XP or fire making XP. A. You can find the Zygomites that are carrying the healthy green herbs to the bonfire and take the herbs off them. This gives you 1-4 to four herby werby points and herb lore XP each time. Or B, you take the corrupted purple herbs and burn them in the fire yourself for 1-4 to four points and fire making XP and a reduced amount of herb lore XP. Whilst there's no penalty for letting the Zygomites burn the healthy green herbs, if you, the player, burn a healthy herb, you only receive half points for the next 30 seconds. So don't do that. Once you've gained 100 points, you'll be told that it's time to stop helping the Zygomites and you'll have to come back next week. There's no time limit though, so you can take as long as you'd like to gather those 100 points each week. If you leave and re-enter, it remembers your point total for the week. That said, the entire DNT takes less than 5 minutes. In general, given how expensive Herbler is to train compared to fire making, there's very little reason to use Herbie Werby to train fire making. You can only gain 100 points in total each week, so if you gain points burning the purple herbs of fire making XP, those are points you can't gain saving the green herbs for herbal or XP. So unless you have a specific need for fire making XP, you should only use this event for herbal or XP. Lastly, it might sound weird, but if there are no zygomites carrying green herbs to take, it might be worth targeting a purple herb carrying zygomite instead. There's no penalty for doing this, and it resets the zygomite to pick up another herb that might be a green one that you can then take off him for points. It's completely against the spirit of helping the Zygomites, but efficiency is king, right guys? In terms of XP rates and total XP earned from the event, it scales with your level. I'll show the amount of herbal or XP you can gain at different levels on screen now. The fire making XP, I wasn't able to confirm this as it's not on the wiki and I obviously can't test all the different levels myself. But from the testing I did do on a couple of accounts, the combined herbal and fire making XP you get from burning the herbs is actually lower than just the herbal or XP you get from just saving the healthy herbs. This is probably down to how aggressively the herbal or XP scales of level. What's interesting about the herbal or XP you get here compared to other mini games is how it scales very well at higher levels. At lower levels it's quite poor compared to say getting 15 penguin points, but post level 115 is actually better. This is because you get set XP boosts at levels 85, 95, 105 and 115. This is also just base XP though, and it stacks with any XP boost you might have like pulse cores, skilling outfits, the wisdom perk, and all the other hundreds of XP boosts RuneScape has, so feel free to use these to boost your rates. One of the few XP boosts that doesn't work here is the Osseous Roar that gives XP boosts on the rest of Anachronia. Lastly, let's talk about the reward shop. If it wasn't obvious from the previous screen, it's actually worth doing Herbie Werby for just the Herblor XP but there are additional rewards you can buy from the ancient Zygomite Elder by the tree. The Herb Bag and the Upgraded Herb Bag let you store grimy, unnoted herbs. It's a useful unlock for low-level players, although it becomes less useful later on 
as higher level monsters mostly drop noted herbs instead. Interestingly, if you die with the bag, you can reclaim it from the Zygomite Elder and it remembers the herbs you had in it. So it has a nice niche use if you're farming herbs in the wilderness and get PK'd. You can also get two totem pieces that are parts of the Totem of Crystal that helps thieving and Prif, and the Totem of the Abyss that unlocks the Anachronia Teleport spell. The pet, Snasher, is purely cosmetic. The Ancient Seed is a one-use teleport straight to the Herby Werby entrance, and the XP lamps are self-explanatory. Personally, I'd recommend buying the Herb Bag and upgrade the Herb Bag first, then the Totem pieces, and then whatever you want. You max out at 2,000 points in the shop though, so if you do have 2,000 points, make sure to spend some, as otherwise you won't gain any, and the game doesn't tell you this. I hope you found this guide useful, and please subscribe if you did. Have a great day, and don't accidentally burn the green herbs.